Oh God. What? See, now I see, now I'm looking at Hifumi's face, right? And his mouth is open, but I, the way I just saw it kind of makes it look like he has a really big red lower lip. And now I can't <laughs> unsee it. <laughs> no! 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 <laughs> I see it too! Yeah, me too! <laughs> Taylor! <laughs> You've cursed <laughs> us! Like, hey. hey! He's like, and he's biting his lip. Just got a bit of rouge on his bottom lip, like, <laughs> yeah. hello. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh, Taylor, no. you, you duped us all! <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Disillusion Plays, where we play the games and do the voices. Last time on Danganronpa, our worst fears were confirmed as Monokuma managed to pop out of the floor once again no. and revealed to us that not only is he not dead, but apparently this whole thing, this entire game, has been broadcast to the outside world and that we are the number one rated show on television. On all channels. Uh, which is Yay. kind of... On all channels. On all channels. We is famous. Now, whether or not that's because, you know, we've taken... They've taken over all, over all the airwaves and just prevented anything else from being shown is, is anybody's guess. Uh, but before we interrupt or go back from our commercial break to the show itself... <laughs> I'm Taylor. I'm Pete. And I'm Sarah. And I just also, and I just want to add that, you know what you were just saying about uh, Hifumi's lip? I also see it on Makoto there. And he just, it just kind of looks like he's got a bit of lipstick on. It, you know, obviously their mouths are open, but if you look at it from a certain perspective, it instead looks as though they have lipstick. very red, prominent mm. lower lips. Yep, yep. Um, now we which is now something this. I cannot, <laughs> can't now we unsee. can't unsee it. And so that is, that is my gift to you as well, <laughs> dear viewers. Now, for whatever reason you like what we do, <laughs> and you would like to continue to hang around, which we would welcome, why don't you uh, hit that subscribe button, hit the uh, like button, and then ring the bell to get notifications about when we post new content. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Let's do this. Hello. Oh, straight in with the huh? <laughs> But then again, it's not really any of their business, right? Sure, some people might yell at their TV to try and warn you, but who would actually come here to help? Don't you think that's possible? I don't really know personally though, so whatever! I mean, we've been yelling at them to try to help them the entire time from out here, and they certainly haven't heard us. <laughs> no, I think we've just been mainly yelling at Makoto to shut up. I think we've just been yelling at the <laughs> TV a lot. Yeah, to be like, fair. <laughs> But to take control of all communications like that, you need an astronomical amount of resources. Yep. So, how could things have come this far? Well, that's a secret. There's something there's something you all need to do first. Remember? What? Yeah, duh. There's the little business of Oh, of course. A body has they been discovered. discovered. <laughs> Timing. I like how he's trying to take it a little bit further with the timing. Yeah. A body yeah, has they're... been discovered. <gasps> we did see that coming. After a certain amount of time, which you may use however you'd like, the class trial will begin. Huh? Huh? C -c class trial? Do you mean... <laughs> <laughs> no, I think I'm not it sure goes that like was this. enough who's who is Pete. <laughs> what? Sorry, I was I was just gonna say it. No, it goes like this. But I was gonna do genocide Jill's laugh. No. <laughs> no, I don't need I don't need the nightmares. <laughs> I'll leave the next Monokuma file right here. Everyone, give it all you got, okay? Oh boy. Okay, things are gonna get pretty crazy from here on out. You're in for a heck of a ride. Oh, I, I can't, can't wait. wait. I can't <laughs> wait. Neither can we. <laughs> hey guys, do you think this is the start of another deadly investigation? No. <laughs> a deadly result, <laughs> a deadly outcome, a deadly class trial. I mean, Taylor, we're, you're gonna have to read that later. You're just repeating dialogue here. Ah, oh, that's true. Yeah, just and then he was gone. Taylor's getting too into character now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I thought Makoto was in reality. the room. <laughs> reality was incomprehensible. 
the truth hopelessly out of reach. <clears throat> well, then you need to just try reaching out to the truth. <laughs> sorry, we've got off on a persona hit again. Sorry. <laughs> you All we were be left sorry. with was despair. Despair? <laughs> there despair, is. yeah. Despair? Despair is here. <laughs> We stood there for I don't know how long, frozen in place. It's actually five seconds. I mean, they are doing a pretty good impression of being frozen. <laughs> Look at them, so static. It's true. <laughs> I couldn't think. It took everything I had just to keep myself standing upright. <laughs> Fortunately, I've got this cardboard kickstand behind me. <laughs> <laughs> just really does a good just, uh, job. Prop it up there. Oh, I don't understand any of this. What's despair entertainment? And how is he still alive? I thought that finally, finally we could get out of here. And plus, what did he say about a class trial? Well, that part's obvious. The class trial is the class trial. What it thank you, Biakia. What it means is that at this point we have to figure out who the culprit is. Figure out who killed Kyoko. Hey, what now? What? Uh, wh what are you talking about? I thought Mukuro Ikasaba is the one who died. Yeah, because I think kid no, because... The victim was female, right? Kyoko certainly fulfills that condition. And if Monokuma is still alive and active, that means that the mastermind, Mukuro Ikusaba, isn't dead. So naturally, that body can't belong to her. So it must be Kyoko. There is no other possibility. Oh, damn. Mm. Hmm. The body is... Kyoko's? Kyoko's been murdered? <laughs> no! It's not possible! Because... Because I don't know anything about her yet! Ah, yes. <laughs> I don't even know who she really is! To have it end like this... I don't but Couldn't they just, like, rewind the camera footage? Yeah, you'd think so while they're there. Mm. I mean, assuming that it's not been deleted I by a certain ha wide, handy bear. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I refuse to believe it! Whether you believe it or not doesn't matter. The truth is the truth. If you refuse to believe, it's your responsibility to uncover the truth for yourself. Myself? Anyway, we'd better begin. If we're gonna have a class trial, then that means the killer. Correct. It must be someone participating in our school life. Wait, so you're saying one of us killed Kyoko? Well, it's not precisely what I'm saying, no. Huh? But you just said... I don't have time to explain now. There is a veritable mountain of issues I need to confirm. So I'm going to begin my search. If you value your lives, you'll put everything you have into this. That That is how this game works, after all. I thought- I read that initially as, that's how games work, after all. It's like, yeah. yeah, you know, Monopoly gets really cutthroat. <laughs> oh, the guitars well, are- oh. I'd better start by checking out the Monokuma yeah, file. Let's get a mosh pit going. It's yeah. not it's not really moshy, Sam. <laughs> it's not heavy enough <laughs> at all. Wow, it's a Due to the explosion, <laughs> the victim's identity is unknown. They were, however, dead before the blast. The victim had been stabbed a single time with a knife, which went completely through the body. Wow. They had also been struck in the head with an object about as thick as a metal pipe. The body was covered with other wounds, but these were at least several days old. So even the Monokuma file doesn't tell us who the victim actually was. The unidentified body. Could it really be Kyoko? Or... Well, she several... Must been, she must have been hurt in herself, then, if she's got I was gonna wounds say, several, several day, days old. Several days old, other wounds, and several of them, is a bit weird. Okay... I have no choice. I have to investigate. I have to uncover the truth for myself. No matter what, I have to find out what happened. 
Or we're all dead. I need to go back to the scene of the crime. Back to the garden. Okay. You hear that? Person controlling me? <laughs> uh, uh, did you say you want to go to the dojo? <laughs> oh, okay. Oh. Guess we'll just. It's not giving us we'll just go then. straight there. Oh, everyone's there. <laughs> Okay, time to get started. I need to check anywhere that might that, 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 that may be important from one end to the other. I just need to do what I always do. I have to say, this tune's pretty bitchin'. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Yeah. I like to imagine it's like Monokuma shredding on the guitar. <laughs> yeah. His little bear paws on the... <laughs> <laughs> Don't ask how he's managing to yeah, play this Yeah, because he got just, no fingers. Just accept but... that it's happening. Don't don't question it. It's a Monokuma theater kind of thing. Like, <laughs> Did you know I play the guitar? <laughs> but if you ask me how I do it with no fingers, I couldn't tell you. <laughs> it's just a bear thing, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> just to be sure, I should take a look at the tool shed. Find out what. Or, you know, I'm surprised that he hasn't... You know, in the U.S., they talk about the right to bear arms, but I don't know if I have that right or not, because I already have bear arms. <laughs> <laughs> this room is dusty and disorganized. In other words, a pretty stereo... Well, it's not that disorganized. There's like five tools in here. I said that's pretty that's A pretty, pretty stereotypical <laughs> tool shed. I was going to say, this is a pretty tidy tool shed. Yeah. Is this... A trap? <laughs> I mean, a tarp? Wait, not this crap oh, not again. They do love the tops, don't <laughs> they? They do. What is... What? <laughs> Was there a tarp in here before? I should probably look into that. It could be related to the case. Boing. The top is wet and covered with mud and grime. But the underside... Is totally clean and completely dry. Oh, then that oh. means it was used to drag the body in. Surprise. It's yes, we're gonna have to use this to establish time of death because remember there was that whole strop about what time the sprinklers. Yeah, I was on. just about. Uh -huh. I was just about yes. to say they've obviously covered it because of the sprinkler system mm. to keep the body dry. I guess. Oh no, I was thinking. Once. Oh, maybe I was thinking more that they dragged the body in on the tarp, and obviously one side of it oh, will be clean suppose. because it was face up, and the other side that they dragged along the floor will have the mm. dirt. Oh, will be true. wet and dirty. Yeah. But yeah, anyway. All that, yeah. Either. Either sounds fairly plausible, to be honest. One side of that tarp is wet and dirty. Something about that bothers me. He doesn't like things that are wet and dirty, guys. <laughs> or maybe he doesn't like things that are totally clean. <laughs> it's hard to know. <laughs> <laughs> he, that's the one thing in here that concerns me. He just me. likes good, clean fun. <laughs> uh... Wait, so that is the one thing in here that concerns him. I get. Oh, let's check the other things anyway. These tools have nothing to do with the case why would until they, they why, do. Why would we look at the bed? There's something carved into the handle of this pickaxe. And by carved, I mean hastily overlaid in Photoshop. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. We've already done this. Crazy diamond. No, I know that. Same thing was written in the back of Mondo's coat. Yeah. But people might not have seen that episode. Monokuru. The pickaxe is connected to Mondo somehow. It's definitely intriguing, but now's not the time to worry about it. All right, all right. I just thought it was important. Jeez. I guess I guess the lawnmower isn't going to be important either. There's a lawnmower here. Okay. Hmm. I don't think it has anything to do with the mystery corpse. It might have. These oh. flower pots have nothing to do with the It's case. just the thing is, they said it, they were hit in the head. And I'm just like, they could, there are several hard things that could have been used to hit them in the head. <laughs> Smash them over with the am I, like, am I being stupid? Am I being stupid? No, no, it said they've been hit on the head. They're hit on the head. Victim has been stabbed, completely went through the body, blah, blah, blah. they also been struck in the head with the object about as thick as a metal pipe. Jesus, which, that... I mean, a metal pipe, that's a pretty damn generic, like, generically sized thing. You know what I mean? Like a metal pipe. Uh, like a big one, a little one, a thin one, a medium. Yeah, this 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 knife must be extremely long, or they were extremely thin. <laughs> well, I mean, have you seen some of the character uh, designs in this? Well, I, I mean, Ali yeah. doesn't exactly look. No, no, un unlike unlike um, Hifumi, you know, <laughs> no. who has the ideal body I mean, type. To be that knife would only have penetrated past the first layer. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, look at that thing. I mean, I'm not surprised it went all the way through. That's not enough. That's not enough. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. 
There's a knife laying on the ground. Is this... Is this? <laughs> it must be the knife that was stuck in the body before it... No! Force of the explosion must have thrown it over here. I am surprised how it's coming apparently out. rattled loose whatever brain Makoto still had. Nah. The Monokuma file said the knife went all the way through the body from front to back. Except they're actually lying on their... Yeah, I guess that's true. <laughs> Does that mean this knife is what caused the fatal injury? Hmm. Either way, this knife... Wow! Ooh. Wow! <laughs> wow! I think Makoto... It will... looks really familiar! It couldn't possibly be I because Toko why. handed it to me to look I, after. I feel that... Where and because it was buried over his sleeping body. Yep, yep, that too. I, I, f I feel that, like, in his feverish state, uh, wearing a hoodie has caused Makoto <laughs> to sweat out a few brain cells in between then and now. Just a few. The, the great brain smoothening has taken yes. place. Guys, don't wear hoodies to bed. It's not good for your health. <laughs> mm. Wait, is this? Oh, he remembers. Oh my god, no. Oh, there we go. <laughs> That's it. Well yeah. done. <coughs> so yeah, if you Give haven't him a biscuit. If you haven't watched the last couple of episodes, you don't need to worry about it, I guess, cuz it's all getting recapped now. It's the knife that person was holding. <coughs> Excuse me. <sighs> Gasp. This is getting really weird. There are just too many <clears throat> Makoto. You think? Makoto Makoto. Makoto, you're killing me. This is not a coincidence, Makoto! <laughs> I am I am dying. I am literally I'm I'm dying. There are just too many strange coincidences. It's, like, it's like the cave. It's like I don't know, the freaking origami killer or whatever, or Jack the Ripper. So many coincidences. <laughs> just in case you forgot, uh, here it good, is. Again. Uh, good, I, I was gonna say. Whoever the person in the mask was that attacked me last night. They were holding that knife. I like that when you look at the picture of them, I mean, to me, they look like a cardboard cutout standing up, because, I mean, they've even got, like, a little white edge on the outline. I don't know if it's vis if it comes across, but... Uh... No, see, and the thing that you'll notice is, if you look at the... Well, if you look at the smooth fingers of the killer, mm, who has no hands. nails whatsoever, yeah. in comparison to the corpse, who very has very prominent... Uh, Oh, fingernails. you've actually brought out another thing there, though. Look at how they're holding the knife, and look at what's not on the back of their hand. Oh yeah, there's a mark, isn't there? There's like a tattoo or something. There's like a yeah, like yeah, a yeah. Silent Hill looking yeah. magic circle. Oh, God, I don't know. What's that, Kyoko? Then. What this? Yeah. Maybe. Could be why. Oh, maybe those are gloves, and that's why they don't have any fingernails. I mean, I don't think this is going to have been Kyoko. Like, why the hell would Kyoko- I know Kyoko appeared afterwards, but she had, like, a really quick wardrobe I mean, wardrobe unless they've done it change. deliberately, so you don't really catch on, I, I don't, don't know. know. And that same knife was used to stab that same masked attacker we found here. So, maybe this masked person got stabbed because- Oh my god! Wow, they really some somebody was really proud of this image and wanted to get their buddies <laughs> worth, didn't they? It's like it's like the handcuff animation in uh in, in <laughs> Great yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. When they attacked, I was in a kind of trance. Maybe I reacted by grabbing the knife. And maybe then I I Yes, Makoto. Yep. You stabbed this person to death. <laughs> and then somehow sleepwalked their dead body to the garden. <laughs> <clears throat> and if this really is Kyoko, it would mean Kyoko was the one that attacked me. But why the mask? <sighs> oh no, the music. I just don't know. I don't remember anything clearly from last night. No. No, it can't be. There's no way! <laughs> Nope. Okay. Mm. There's Monokuma jamming it out. Of <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, so what are these? There's the body, the body and like, I guess it's this stuff, right? Yeah. Well, yeah. These look like fragments of something. Presumably the bomb used yeah, to explode it. Or the so. mask. No, no, it's the bomb, isn't it? Because it's got that sort of panel thing. The, the mm -hmm. red thing. That's like... 
that That's was the mask, isn't it? No, I thought that was the what the bo yeah, isn't that the check mark on the well? If we advance the text, yeah. I'm sure we'll find out. Oh no, no, okay. it's the control We're panel from the bomb. So I can't it? really be sure, but I feel like I've seen something like it before. But where? Wait, was it there? I'll have to double check. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> the one time we would actually like to be reminded of something. <laughs> they don't do it. Uh, see, I know they took a bomb out of Monokuma, but... I was gonna say, yeah, I suppose, so we go to the gym? Maybe, Where yeah. that bomb is? Yeah. I think, because I think that's like the control panel of one of the mm. bombs. Could be. If I check the body more thoroughly, maybe then I'll find out for sure if it's Kyoko or not. Yeah, 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 see? Mm. The hand uh, gripping yeah. the knife didn't have that shite. No. Huh? There's something weird about the body's fingernails. Well, just the fingernails. Wow. Yes, well, that was what you clicked that, on. Yes, that's the most obvious thing. Oh my goodness. It looks like a oh. Junji Ito yeah. style picture. Yeah. <laughs> like the shading. Thick yeah. nails. They're really long. They seem like they get in the way of normal activity. I think Junko had those fingernails. Mm. Well, specifically like alternating like that. Like, no, yeah. I like I remember her for some reason having these really like long elaborate fingernails. I mean, that rings a bell. I mean, gosh, it did say she was like the ultimate fashion. Fashionista. Fashion the fa fashionista. Can we, can we pull up her thing in the court record? Or the court record? Court record. Yes. Report card, that one. Junko. She was right at the bottom, darling. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't show her. No. Can we see like her full picture? No. No, it just shows the head. Damn. <laughs> I mean, I imagine she probably would have because. But did she, she did, mm. The weird wolf, though. Yeah. The wolf tattoo. Anyway. Awu. There's also something in the back of her right hand. Is this a tattoo? It got burned, so I can't make out the whole thing, but... It looks pretty clear to me. Like, it's like a wolf burn, head yeah. in, like, a star, like, sort of badge-looking... Yeah. Like a deputy badge. Yes, yeah. yes. It looks like it's a picture of a dog or something. I've never seen anything like it before. Tattoo on the right hand has been added to the tooth bullet section of your handbook. Oh wait, I guess I guess they didn't cover the body because that looks wet underneath. Yeah, it is. There's water underneath. Mm. The upper half of the body got set on the fire or set on fire in the explosion, so it's totally blackened. Also, the top half of the body is wet. Ah, uh, oh, yeah, because oh, he put her out. Because <laughs> he put him out. Oh, That's yeah. because it got set on fire, and I threw water on it. Since I only threw water on the part that was on fire, the top half, the bottom half, is still dry. In other words, there's nothing strange about the top half being wet. There isn't, right? Okay, that was a weird, fra weird way to phrase it. Mm. <clears throat> the white jacket the victim was wearing got totally burnt up. There's only one little piece... I'm, I, well, one little piece? Yeah, little. Mm. <laughs> the lower half of the body didn't get wet at all. Just like my ex-wife. Oh. After the body blew up, the top <laughs> half got set on fire, so I dumped a bucket of water on it. Which explains why the bottom half isn't wet. There's nothing strange about that, right? Okay, they're really playing on that the sprinkler system is in place here, so yeah. yeah I think, yeah, they've obviously covered the body to keep it dry, I guess. <laughs> Right, so I guess we better look at the sprinklers, haven't we, to just sort mm -hmm. of get that added to the truth bullets. Mm -hmm. Those nozzles poking out. Are they? No. <laughs> no, Makoto, they're not. See, the thing is, Pete, when you do Monokuma, it results in physical pain, <laughs> right, to your voice box. When I do Makoto, it results in mental pain. Yeah, for all of us, pal, for all of us. I mean, you, you're not, you're, pain. you're, you're saying it, you're, you're, you know, you're uh, voicing it, but we're still reading it. Like, it, yeah. it's just as bad. We're, we're still also, dying. that is a very well-designed sprinkler, oh, yeah. I have to it's, say. It's, it's, yep. <laughs> yeah. Are those the sprinklers? Let's have a look at the phallic plant. <laughs> the monokuma flower, mm -hmm. huh? Is it true? Does it really eat paper, plastic, and people? Anyway, I don't think it's related to the case, so I think I'll just 
stay away. And don't dump the body in it. Don't. No, so, yeah, it does. It, it does seem weird though, because if they wanted to get rid of the body, then surely feeding it to the flower would have been the better yeah. move. So they wanted the body to be Let's found. Let's look at the chickens. Chimkins. I remember there were some chimkins. Oh, in there's the less chickens now. I count four. one, two, three, four. Huh? Four. What's going on, Makoto? Oh, I'm glad you're here. <clears throat> Listen, do you remember how many chickens there were in here? Of course. Of course. I love chickens, Eddie. <laughs> that were precisely five. <laughs> yeah, right? Hmm. What's wrong? Oh, snap. <laughs> There's only four chickens here now. Where one sh well, the fox will have gotten like, into the house. <laughs> <laughs> he like coughs and like feathers come out of his mouth. Like, oh, no reason. <laughs> oh, no. We're one short. Huh? <laughs> what why, is, why is everything him screaming? I don't know. <laughs> like every reaction. That's so weird. I wonder when it disappeared. <clears throat> oh, I was down here just before. I'm going to start that again. <laughs> I was <laughs> I was down here just before nighttime last night, and there were definitely five chickens then. Oh no, I'm seeing the big lower lip for Hero too. <laughs> oh oh no. god, no, it's, this doesn't make sense. Like I don't see it for this one. Let's let's not look for this. For the previous <laughs> what one, are I you did. gonna do? What are we gonna do? Going from five to four is gonna have an impact on the structure of the world. Wow, you've never lived on a farm then. It's, <laughs> it's like, it's like <laughs> Taylor. I really wish you hadn't said the lip thing. To me. <laughs> It's like, the, like somebody's punched him in like the, the lip. The if biggest that's the case. bottom lip. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a jigsaw puzzle. If even a single piece disappears, the entire world will remain unfinished. Okay. I did my best to ignore Hero <laughs> and focus on the problem at yeah, hand. Yeah, probably best. Why did one of the chickens disappear? Many dollars, Ed boy. <laughs> Could it be related to the case? I best said chicken. <laughs> I mean, and then there's gonna be like some, there's gonna be some zoomer in the comments who's like, what the hell are you guys doing? Is that even a thing? And then I'm gonna feel very old. <laughs> well, I'm just like, why did the chicken cross the road, Eddie? <laughs> well, well, I don't know, I don't know, Ed, why did the chicken cross the road? <laughs> get to the other side, Eddie. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, nostalgia. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sorry. This is the panel that controls the, um, the, yeah, the ooh, the, the, the what, the, mm, the, mm, the, the, the nozzles things. The nozzles thing. Yes. Oh, that's the, okay. And Monica was at the time positively couldn't be changed. Huh? Hold on. Oh, there we go. There we are. So the spr- oh, the, oh, there we go. The, the dribble's working. The dribble's running in the wheel. <laughs> the dribble. So the sprinklers turn on at 7.30 each morning, right? Then, if the body was here before then, the sprinkler should have gotten it wet. Which would mean the murder must have taken place. Sprinklers. Sprinklers. Can we leave? Ah! Uh. Guess you gotta talk to people too? Maybe. This is one of the. Actually, no. It's totally useless no matter what. Owie. Uh, listen, Makoto. Do you remember how the body looked? You know. Before it blew up? Um, if I remember right, it was wearing some kind of mask and a big white coat. Also, there was a knife sticking out of the stomach, and the area around it was stained with blood. Apparently, the wound had stopped bleeding, but the blood on the body was still wet. Well, you know, because the knife acts as a plug. We learned that, and the, you know, Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney Trials and Tribulations. Hmm. Yaki said not to touch to avoid getting all bloody. Mm. But for how much blood there was in the body, I, I didn't see any on the ground around him. Hmm. Hmm. Does that explain the missing chicken? Oh, what? Can they <laughs> killed the chicken for the blood? Oh, yeah. Maybe. And then they just tossed it into the plant. Yeah. Oh. And the plant ate, and so that, yeah, to get rid of the evidence. Hmm. That does make sense. Interesting. Okay. Mebs. Because, like, it would make sense if the body got wet, because it would make the blood wet, but the body's dry, apart from, obviously, 
the putting the fire out, obviously, but yeah. Eh, maybe. No, no, no. It's a good shout. Mm. Oh wow! Thanks. That was a big help. Now that you explained it, I totally remember how it looked. Well, having to talk about it like that helped me remember it a lot better too. And does. And does, yes. Yeah. So thank you too. Ah, cheese. <laughs> All right, let's talk to the Baden. Hey. Oh, here we go. So, who does that body belong to? Whoever it is, I'm not gonna look. I don't want to faint anymore. I say I'm okay. like, yeah. <laughs> okay then. I suppose you can't see the blood on it. She seems fine. Yeah, she's totally uh, normal. It's eleven o'clock right now. Okay, and. Oh well, I was just thinking about when we first found the body. When the body was found, huh? I should look back at what I did this morning to help me remember when that was. Monokuma's announcement woke me up at 7 o'clock as usual and I headed for the dining hall pretty soon. Once I got there, I met up with Hina. That was right around 7.30. Then I headed to the gym where everyone else was waiting. Next, Toko went to go get the pickaxe. Oh, wasn't that like, that was like 9 o'clock because Byakuya yeah. said, Be back by 9.01 yeah. or I shall erase you from my memory. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Unacceptable! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And that's when she found the body. What time was it then? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> now then, Toko. Sorry, now then. Toko, what time is it? Well, when we left the gym, it was just before 9 o'clock. So it's probably 9 on the top now. That's right. It had to have been right around 9 o'clock. Ah, now that you mention it, I think you're right. So, I think we can say for sure the body was found at 9 a.m. Okay, my job's done. That's a pretty small hey, job. Hey, all jobs are important, asshole. And himself. Mm -hmm. Good timing, Makoto. I wanted to talk to you. Okay. Why uh, the heck does it do this? Like, I, I just... It's like, you know, if they're not going to say you anything know, else... Pete, they, pro they programmed in the button and they're damn well going <laughs> to use it. What do you want to talk about? I'd like to hear your alibi. Uh-oh. <coughs> alibi? Correct. I'd love to hear where you were after nighttime began last night. Uh, um... Well, I was sick, so I was asleep all night. But why are you asking about that now? What's nighttime got to do with it? Isn't it obvious? This murder took place after nighttime. How can you know that for sure? Because, just after nighttime began, I came to the garden. I was going around looking for everyone so I could tell them about Monokuma. Hiro's been spending most of his time in the garden the last few days, so I figured he'd be here. And I can confirm that when I arrived last night, there was no body here. So the murder could only have taken place at some point during night time, after I'd left the garden. However, Toko, Hiro, Hina and I were in the gym together the entire night last night. What? Well, and this is where the sprinkler thing will come mm. in handy, right? Because if it was... If it did happen during the nighttime before the sprinklers went on, then when the sprinklers turned on, it would have gotten the body wet. Yeah. Once I found Hiro in the garden, we immediately went to Toko and Hina's rooms to get them. At that point, we all went to the gym and began dismantling Monokuma. As a precaution, we made sure not to go anywhere alone. We even went to the bathroom in pairs. In other words, all four of us have airtight alibis. The only ones who don't have alibis... ...are me and Kyoko. And if the victim really is Kyoko... ...then I'm the only one without an alibi! Also, when we went to go get Hina and Toko, we stopped by your room as well. But you never came to the door. So, where precisely were you? I'm telling the truth, I was in my room, but I was dead asleep. I, I had a fever, so... <laughs> That's hardly an alibi. I know. So, what now? You seem to be at quite the disadvantage here. 
you could say U G L Y. You ain't got no alibi <laughs> because you ugly. Yeah, yeah, yeah you yeah. ugly. You ugly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn. I'm the only one without an alibi. That's really bad, isn't it? Uh, -oh. uh yep, it's it's pretty bad, pal. Yeah, it's, it's, you, it's, uh, that's what we'd say down the PD. You'd be uh, you'd be totally screwed, pal. <laughs> Although, to be fair, I mean, Mr. Edgeworth has brought in cases based off of less than this. <laughs> I mean, Mr. Edgeworth said that, like, if someone came in in your situation, even I'd be able to uh, prosecute him and they'd go down. So it's got to be pretty dang serious. Will you stop shitting on my boy? <laughs> <laughs> I think I've checked everything I need to in this area. Yay. But I'm not done yet. <laughs> there are other areas I need to okay. check. Okay. Specifically, that fragment I found before. There's somewhere I need to go in order to confirm my suspicions. And I still need to find out more about Kyoko. All right. Oh, for God's sake. Is that corpse really Kyoko? If that's true... Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Was that also Kyoko who attacked me last night? If I can find out more about her, maybe I can answer that question. Kyoko was never the kind of person to talk about herself all that much. Maybe if I can get into her room, I'll be able to find out more. But the key to her room... I will simply limit your options. I can't allow you to engage in any further suspicious activity. Limit my options? Give me the key to your room. I don't have a choice. I have to see if he'll let me borrow her room key. Biakuya! Oh, Biakuya! <laughs> hey, um, Biakuya? If you do come up with an alibi, I'd be happy to hear it later at the class trial. Oh dear. Oh, no, it's not about that. You have the key to Kyoko's room, right? I was hoping I could borrow it. Hmm. <laughs> I'm afraid I can't take that risk. You're the prime suspect, after all. Of course, if I were to go with you, that would be a different story. Then will you go with me? I can't be bothered. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, no. I have my own agenda to take care of. Find me again later and we'll see. Depending on my mood, I may go with you. Or I may not. Come back later, huh? Okay, then in the meantime, I should look around somewhere else. Maybe I should oh check out- Oh my goodness! <laughs> we know! <laughs> that, that one, one area. area! God's which sake! Which one area could that be? Do you know which area? <laughs> okay, we'll have to find out next oh. time! <laughs> oh, could you even- Right, so I'm sure it's the gym. Yeah, because- I doubt they tied it up the uh, dismantled Monokuma. Yeah, unless, yeah. If Monokuma, if another Monokuma has tied it up, that no. Oh, oh. There we go. Okay, so there's the. Where was the bomb? No. Okay. Did well, I guess we'll just. I guess down. we'll just look at it. Monokuma's laying dismantled on the floor, but I figured it wouldn't be here. Ah, oh, there it is. Aha! Ah, yes. <laughs> See. Oh, I just found something. Hmm. What is it? It's... <laughs> it's... it's what? A Monty <laughs> Python's Flying Circus. <laughs> A bomb. There's one installed in every Monokuma robot, I'm sure. A b -b 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 bomb And that bomb went missing. Hmm. There's no doubt about that. The fragments I found in the garden. Hmm. Yay. Well done, Pete. Yay. Okay, I've checked everything else I can think of. All that's left now is Kyoko's room. I should head back to the garden and ask Kyoko. Wow, that was, li that that's was literally really quick. It. Like, my goodness, that wasn't... Uh, maybe they were figuring that you wouldn't remember what it was. Yeah. I suppose. They, they did put in all of that other dialogue to try mm -hmm. and throw us off. Repeating the same Come shit. Oh, Makoto, well, oh, you've been gone for approximately seconds. 60 seconds. <laughs> I suppose I'll go with you. I've changed my mind. I just made you one. I had to make you work for it. <laughs> you think you can go soon, Biakia? <laughs> you want to check out Kyoko's room, right? <laughs> Very well. Let's go. Ah! 
Wait for me! Biakia walked off without a second glance. Hurry up, you hurried after him on our way to the dorms. Hurry up, you what? Panty waist. Panty waist! <laughs> Do, do, do. Oh, there it is. Oh, do we Get have to one. I guess we best talk to Crotch, man. While you're down, then. <laughs> well, then, here we go. Biakia took out the key and slid it into the keyhole. And then... Click. Surprise. It opened. And it's open. Looks like it. Thanks. Woohoo. <clears throat> So, this is Kyoko's room. Hmm. What's that nine on there? Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, on the little book. Yeah. Or is it a six? There's something on the table. Hmm. It's a woodblock decoration. That'll be for a locker. Is it in the the yeah. The, yeah, dojo, the actual yeah. dojo oh, this time? Oh, the dojo. Yeah, because yeah, it had all the wooden, all the sort of uh, Jap authentic yeah, Japanese bits yeah, and yeah, bobs. Yeah. Hmm, what's that? What purpose does it serve? I think it's probably a key. The lockers at those really traditional public bathhouses use them for their lockers. Wh which which frickin' bathhouses did he go to? Yeah. Well, I suppose I haven't really been to a bathhouse, so no. I wouldn't know. Hmm, I wouldn't know. I've never gone to a public bathhouse. That doesn't really surprise me. It's hard to picture Biak. You're doing something the like that. The idea of seeing the only here, baths so I take are with water imported Ooh. from Nice. <laughs> but if it is a key, I think I might know what it unlocks. Really? What? Unless I'm mistaken, and I'm never mistaken. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I saw something in the dojo that this dojo dojo that this might belong. Mate. <clears throat> Might belong to the, the dojo. dojo. <laughs> I'm <again>. pretty sure. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna. I'm pretty sure I saw something in the dojo that this might go to. The dojo. The dojo. The dojo. The dojo. The dojo. The dojo. Let's go to the dojo. Dojo. But first, let's just sniff her bed sheets, right? Because Ew. that seems like the normal thing to do. Oh, gross. Here's her bed. I'm sure, that's what Makoto would do. I don't see anything interesting here. At least not as far as the kids is concerned. Okay, bathroom. Bathroom! Bathroom! Here's the bathroom. She might have certain articles <laughs> hanging out to dry. I'd better not look inside. So, yeah, so, articles. so if Kyoko's hiding in the bathroom, we did, we wouldn't be able to find her. Well, she'd do well to get in a nope. room, wouldn't she? <laughs> yeah, I suppose. Yeah, good point. Oh. Ah, hey. I think it would be wise to look around a bit more. The drawer, I guess. Oh, yeah, well done, Sarah. Just in case she took the scissors out. Yeah. No? No. Wait, what? Huh? Do we have to talk to Biakia? Oh, maybe. God. It's not gonna be the camera. You wanted to come here, right? So what is it you're looking for? Nothing in particular. I just thought we might find some sort of clue here. A clue that might help us understand Kyoko. You can't be serious! That's why you made me take time out of my search to come here? Sorry. <laughs> Regardless, if you plan on poking around at random, you're doomed, no matter how much time you take. Surely you have something more concrete. Something to give us some sort of direction here. More concrete. Oh, I know! Earlier, Kyoko gave me something. Huh? What's this? Consider it a symbol of my determination. Don't open it yet. Only open it if something ever happens to me. I'm sure I have it here somewhere. Found it! Hmm. What's in the envelope? Kyoko gave it to me. She said if something ever happened, I should open it. Well, something has certainly happened, so... Open it. Uh, okay. I opened the envelope and looked inside. Inside was a single piece of paper. <laughs> under, th oh. under the sheets. <laughs> under the sheets. That's where I keep my sex under toys. Under the sheets. <laughs> That's all that was in there. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it. <sighs> under the sheet. Oh my. <laughs> Just look, damn it. <laughs> 
Taylor. Taylor, Taylor, Taylor. is having an aneurysm right now. What could it be? <laughs> <laughs> okay. But could... I don't know, Makoto. Why don't you have a look and see? Stop talking about it. Get on with it. <laughs> Jesus could Christ, some man. Could something be hidden under the bed sheets? Part of me didn't expect <laughs> to find anything. But as I lifted up the Lo sheets... Lo and behold! We've, we've broken Taylor's spirit. <gasps> What's this? <laughs> what is this? Taylor, I'm not convinced. What's this? Are you okay, pal? <laughs> I found a crumpled up piece of paper. Ooh. Huh. Class number 78 student registry? Mukuro, is he gonna remember who this is? Is he gonna remember or is he gonna flash back to her saying Mukuro Ikusawa the 16th I'm, student, I'm the putting, ultimate despair? I'm putting bets on flashback. <laughs> Probably. Uh, Mukuro Ikusaba? He just likes thinking about Kyoko's breath on his ear. Mm hmm. It appears to be Mukuro Ikusaba's profile. Oh, good show, Biakia. However, did you figure mm -hmm. it out? Because I can read it yeah, from here. Yeah, looks like it. My eyesight is very good, and you're bumbling about. <laughs> then why do you need glasses? <laughs> because with the glasses, that's what makes my eyesight so good. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, kid. <laughs> Keep up. <laughs> yeah, lo looks like it. That's probably the other thing Kyoko stole when she stuck into the headmaster's room, along with the key. No. But why did she keep it a secret? Like, God, you're so annoying! <laughs> that was really weird. Whoa. God, you're so annoying! Fine, I'll tell you. It was a key and... Beep. <laughs> That's it. This must be the blank that Monokuma was talking about. Kyoko said a death without meaning was unappealing. And this is what she left behind. I don't have time for your sentimental indulgences. Hurry up and finish your search! Uh, okay. I made an effort to pull myself together, then looked down at the profile sheet. Mm. Name, Mukuro Ikusaba. Sex, female. The ultimate soldier. Oh. Although small for her age, she was a military special- Wow. I don't- I'm sorry! I'm sorry, what?! This is like the Violet Evergarden no. meme from Pro ZD, where it's like, you know, it's like you guess the character's age. I was in the war. <laughs> I've killed over a thousand people. And I'm a military combat specialist. How old am I? I don't know, 30? I'm 16. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> oh, that's the other one, isn't it? That's like, it looks like a, a lolly. In and a, they're like 10,000 years like, old. And it's like, I'm 10,000 years old. God damn it! <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> Although small for her age, she was a military specialist trained in every weapon type imaginable. She showed an interest in the military from childhood and soon found herself completely absorbed. I mean, as in you it. do. She'd watched like one too many Rambo movies and became obsessed. I mean, no, the thing is, though. The name, her name is Mukuro Ikusaba, so she sounds, this sounds like an American kid. <laughs> more so than a Japanese kid. In elementary school, she won a survival game tournament and be- Wow. Gift writing for military magazines. Wow, okay. What? Oh, yes. Uh, for our article this month, uh, we have reached out to an expert <laughs> who's uh, six years old. <laughs> To contribute <laughs> to our military magazine. Good evening, everyone. This is FPS Russia, and today we're going FPS to look. Russia. We're going to look at my chain gun. <laughs> Ten thousand rounds per minute. <laughs> Incredible stopping power. Like, anyway, <laughs> <laughs> sorry. I don't know why she's like. Just caught before me. entering. No, I don't. All right. Eh? Just before <laughs> and. <laughs> <laughs> like, FPS Russia was freaking Russian. Russian. <laughs> Although it wasn't Russian. No, well, I, you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, you know yeah, I mean. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a bit of a blast from the past. It is. <laughs> Just before entering middle school, while she and her family were on vacation in Europe, she disappeared. Presumably to go fight a war on there her own. There you are, Taylor. Yeah. Japanese girl, not mm. American. Impressive. The story of a young Japanese girl being kidnapped quickly took over Japanese media outlets. An intense international investigation turned up no information. 
and she was never found. However, she reappeared in Japan three years later, alone and completely unannounced. She revealed that she had joined- Oh my oh, god! Oh, that makes sense. I was joking! I was joking! <laughs> but the Fenrir, right? Isn't that kind of the, the dog is thing? Fenrir the wolf the from, yeah. like, Norse mythology. Yeah, yeah, so- Oh, the, yes. Yeah. She revealed that she had joined a mercenary group known as Fenrir for those three years. She insisted that she hadn't been kidnapped, that she'd received battle training of her own volition. However, she never revealed why she decided to return home when she did. Hmm. Right, so we definitely know this is that the body is Mukuro Ikusaba. Mm -hmm. There we are. The 16th student. The, the ultimate. ultimate <laughs> well, actually, the ultimate military... Well, the ultimate so soldier. Ultimate soldier. The ultimate soldier. A mercenary group. This doesn't feel real. The world I grew up in, it's like a completely different dimension. It's like one's non-fiction and the other is sci-fi. There's no way to even compare It's almost like I'm the protagonist in an anime. <laughs> what the hell? That's how different this is. That was how I saw things as just an ordinary person, but then... Hmm. I never imagined I would hear the name Fenrir in a place like this. Huh? You recognize it? Is it Fenrir? Fen Fenrir. 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 <laughs> the Fenrir Mercenary Corps is a collection of battle-crazed warmongers. But they do have their uses, and they always get the job done. That's worth remembering. This is all part of a world totally removed from the one I live in. I have to say, I'm intrigued. Every rumor I've heard says that Fenrir has already... <laughs> I feel like our hero is becoming a bit player, and a bit player is becoming our hero! What the heck is a bit player? Bit player? Is that like a Japanese arcade game? Like a small, like a small, like a two-bit, like a very oh, small, oh, insignificant okay. thing. Oh, okay. So, yeah, like a, yeah, a nobody to a somebody, I guess, Ooh. yeah, two-bit. Ah, I wouldn't, it's I mean, you. I wouldn't go that far, honestly. What do you got in your pretty little hand there? Fuck off. Uh-oh, you found her profile? So what if we did? Don't freak out on me. I'm not going to hold it against you or anything. And in case you're wondering, I don't hold it against Kyoko either. Even though she stole it and hid it. After all, there's no rule against stealing, is there? But who I can't forgive is Miss Ogami, who broke the rules and busted into the headmaster's room. Maybe I'll drag her corpse out here and slice it up and devour it. Bears are omnivorous, you know. Are rule violations really so unforgivable? You nearly went American then. Yeah, you did. <laughs> You're quite adamant about those regulations of yours. Of course I am! A proper school life is built on the de the dedication to organization and order. Which is why even I, as the head the school headmaster, have to follow the regulations myself! Mm. Interesting. Oh. So you're saying you have to follow your own rules as well? Did I freaking stutter? <laughs> Absolutely! I can't have you complaining about how unfair it all is, now can I? <coughs> In fact, on the subject of fairness, would you like to know something interesting? Interesting? <clears throat> it's about the one writing all the rules. They're actually... One of the participants in this killing game! Oh dear. I don't think I ever told you how many participants there actually were, did I? I was thinking I should probably clarify that. When you first all got together in the main hall way back when, there were 15 people there, right? I think that first... Junko is wearing red nails, look. Sorry to interrupt. Oh! Uh huh? And look at her... Let's look at the boots. Let, okay, so Kyoko's boots don't really look like that. Oh, But okay. she's got the red laces in the platform oh, okay. thing. I apologize. I thought... I knew Kyoko's were like... 
high, but okay, yeah, they are different. <laughs> I, <coughs> I think that first meeting may have led to a little misunderstanding among you all. A uh, misunderstanding? Are you saying... That's right! There weren't actually 15 of you! The total number of... <coughs> the total number of students taking part in this killing game was actually 16! 16? Then... <laughs> there it is! There it is! There it is! <laughs> <laughs> <See it. laughs> <Hello. laughs> Mukuro Ikusaba, the 16th student, lying hidden somewhere in the school. It's not... The one they call the ultimate What's despair. What's the matter? I've never heard you say that before. You've never read, you've never read this, line, this line before. Put some more passion I'm certainly in it, feeling ultimate despair. Watch out for it. Feeling her. ultimate nostalgia. <laughs> The 16th student. Oh my god! Oh my god! How many times are they gonna have to say this? She's part of this school life. So the one making all the regulations is. <laughs> Biakia! <laughs> Why? Huh? Did you say something? Why are you telling us this? Oh, well, because. Like I told you, this killing game is def uh, desperately popular. You wouldn't believe the ratings. I mean, I would. You know, Squid Game was pretty, well, pretty yeah, popular. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, yeah. and since we've got so many viewers now, I wanted to make sure everyone was on the same page. And by everyone, I mean you two and not the rest. <laughs> I don't want to wake up to a hurricane of complaints and hate mail, you know? Make sense? <clears throat> okay, that's all you get for now. Oh, actually, I do have some revenge to get, so I have an extra bonus for you. Revenge? I want to get back at that sneaky Miss Kirigiri, so I'm going to share a little secret with you. S seriously You know how she wears those stupid gloves day in, day out, all the time? Well, don't tell anyone I told you, but... She wears them to cover a bunch of hideous scars that she doesn't want anyone to see! What? <laughs> okay, now that's all you get. So yeah, the body definitely. <laughs> so yeah, the body definitely isn't Kyoko's then, because there's no scars on her hands. If that's the case. Mm. Yeah. Kyoko wears those gloves to cover up a bunch of scars. Wait, so on the back of her hand. <gasps> but what is on the back of her hand? Oh no! <laughs> It seems that we are basically out of time. No! By like a minute or so, but who cares? This seems like a good place Th to thank stop. Thank you, Russian Pete. <laughs> and so, if you like what we do, please click the like button, leave a comment down below, hit the, hit the subscribe button, and ring the bell so that you are notified when we put up new videos. And with that, we'll catch you in the next one. Um, okay. Um, see you later, guys. <laughs> Make sure to pick up some creepy paper <laughs> before the what next are you one. Talking but take yeah. care, everybody. Yelmo, what have you done? <laughs> Sorry, bastard.